Hello and welcome to the whiskey.com news on the 29th of uh, October 2019. And we have very interesting news. Um, the news from Glen Vivis from last week, um, uh, it's not officially out, but it's speculated that they have little damages. So they will have a bit of damages probably to the production, but they will not be out of business for sure. So then we have uh, Douglas Lang in the news. Uh, Douglas Lang is known that they will be an independent bottler and they want to build a distillery in Glasgow. But now they have just bought the Strathurn Distillery. The Strathurn Distillery was founded or went into production in 2013 and they now belong 100% to Douglas Lang, the independent bottler. So when they will build the distillery in Glasgow, they will have at least two distilleries now. So very interesting and very good for Douglas Lang. Then we have the Singleton of Glen Ord. Yeah, this here is the Singleton of Dufftown, which is for the European market. The Singleton of Glen Ord is more for the Asian and South European market, if I'm correct. And they will get a new bottling called the Triple Cask Edition. It will be matured in bourbon and sherry cask, then married together and then matured in sherry casks again. And it will be 40% ABV. Then we have some news from Edward Dower. Edward Dower uh, is releasing four new bottlings. It's the natural cask strength uh, the, in the Ibisco decanter. Not quite sure what that is. Then we have the Barolo cask finish, the Bordeaux cask finish, and an SFTC uh, Sautan cask finish. More matured, not finished, matured. So a bit better. Um, it will go into the markets very soon. And then we have uh, news from the financial market. Yes, there is now a regulated whiskey fall. So there is a, uh, there is the Swedish company that is being controlled by the Swedish Financial Regulations Bureau, and they um, got just got into Great Britain. And they are investing into whiskey and you can invest into them. So they collect money and they invest into whiskey and then they will uh, collect yeah, revenues because the whiskey will become more expensive. What they do already own is a 1977 a limited uh, edition Little Mill or just a cask of Little Mill. They will ha do have a 37 year old Port Allen and all of the middle and very rare uh, bottlings. So if you think that whiskies will become eventually very, very, very expensive or even more expensive, then you can invest into that uh, business and they will share the revenues with you. Yeah, so that was it this week. Thank you very much for watching and see you next week.